picked up a bunch of malfunctioning fireworks or something like that. Bacon cheeseburger fried rice. Okay, let me show you what I got at the thrift store. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my, are you yes. fifth? Yes. Fit. Child, Tori. I just met a girl the other day who she is dating someone from a large family and that family all refers to the children by their number. Interesting, right? <laughs> so like, <laughs> hey, number five, number five. <laughs> uh, we have some balloons back here from a canceled birthday party. More about that another day. But uh, today, Tori and I, well, the last two weeks, we have had sick kids in our home continually. All our young kids got something that was a fever for five, six days. It was bad. I didn't leave the house for weeks, basically. And um, today is my one of my first times out. And Tori and I, you're feeling good now. Yeah. Or I wouldn't be here. Yes, you wouldn't be here. Tori and I are headed into a thrift store. We are going shopping today. Is there something you're looking for, Tori? Books, mostly. I, you know, I have 11 kids. There's always things that are on the running list, so I'm gonna see what I can see. I would love some kitchen glassware. Not that I have any room for anything in my kitchen, but I've been making a lot of sourdough bread, and I don't think you're supposed to use metal bowls. I only have metal mixing bowls. I would love some glass mixing bowls if I could find that. And possibly, um, some glass canisters for some homemade concoction of laundry detergent that I'm doing. So yeah, we're just gonna see what we can find. I would also like some nice baskets, but that can be hard to find at thrift stores. Uh, for my laundry room situation, we don't have a lot of space, but anything that can help, I'd be interested in. I am not looking for things to clutter up my house. <laughs> the other day you were there with Belle and a couple siblings before everybody got sick though, and you guys found a bunch of good books. Oh, maybe well, you weren't just, there. No, it was me, Eli, and Belle. Oh, okay, Eli came Wait, home with no, some good books. And Noel. Noel. Like, yeah. Okay. So we always love looking for books when we go to the thrift store. Anyway, we'll take you in. Okay, I'm back home. I wanna show you all the stuff I got. We ended up picking up Luca from detasseling. I don't think I told you that. So he walked through with his muddy, gross clothes on. <laughs> we didn't leave any mud in the thrift store. Um, but yeah, he was making us hurry because he was anxious to go, which I understand. <laughs> he didn't expect us to pick him up. I wanted to show you what I got. Oh, first of all, I should show you my new desk, my office desk. This is it. <laughs> In our other house that was bigger, we had a small desk in our master bedroom that was my desk. Everything lived on it. Here, I never know where I'm working. I feel homeless. Today's a work day for me. So I carried this all around with me. I worked in town for a while, worked in my bedroom, worked on a deck. I got this off of Amazon and it is literally the best find I could have found for and a great price. But anyway, it's a computer bag. So it has this computer compartment that holds my laptop just great. And it also keeps my, it zips closed, which I like, which I don't use that option much, but it's nice to have it. Okay, no, I'll just wait. <laughs> it carries my like camera stand, charger, everything. It's my whole office. My card reader, my camera, extra batteries, and I can just pick it up and go wherever I need to. It was such a great price on Amazon. If you guys are looking for something, I'll link it. It came in many different colors. It stands up on its own, like I showed you, and it is my traveling office. Okay, let me show you what I got at the thrift store. So first of all, we got a few picture books. We didn't find much by way of books. These books are always fun because you can find the secret, the hidden grasshopper and spider on every page. So Noelle's excited for that. I do like these biscuit stories. They had a big one. We have some of these, but they're great for early readers and I always have early readers here. And then I always look through their picture books because I love a good picture book. And picture books of what has what really encourage some of my, some hesitant, let me say, readers to like reading better. And so I'm always a huge fan of picture books with whether it's a lot of words or a little. So that was a cute one with good illustrations too. Uh, Luca was with me and so I asked him to look for good shoes for detasseling. If you don't know what detasseling is, it's walking through the cornfields. A lot of Midwest kids do it. With their summers, they get paid good. And you really, you're walking through mud and muck and wet mud, I mean like wet, fields we can always use some good sturdy tennis shoes that will be 
totally caked in mud. So that's another pair that will help us a lot around here. Okay, I'll show you that in a second. I got this bowl. I liked it a lot. I, th I think it's clay. I think thrift store prices are high. This was $9.99. It's a heavy bowl. I think actually it might be a dog bowl, but I want to leave it on my counter. I love blue. Love blue dishes and we'll put our leftovers in here as we're clearing off plates. We don't have a dis garbage disposal, but we do have chickens and they are our garbage disposal. Whoops. And so I, w I think this was pretty to leave on the table or on the counter for just collecting the leftovers. We've been using our current bowls, but sometimes people get confused whether that's a leftover bowl for the chickens or if it's just a food bowl. <laughs> Thought that would be a good solution. I'm out here because outside because of, you know, tiny house, but it's like 90 degrees and now I'm starting to sweat. I did find another big clay bowl that would have been perfect for bread. It was it was beautiful. It was like a real neutral beige color with brown edge. Ah, it was heavy. I walked it all through that store. Got up to check out and the guy's like, you cannot buy this because it has no price tag. That's literally how he said it. It's our store policy. If it doesn't have a price tag, you can't buy it. And I'm like, wow, do people go through the, sh the uh, aisles and take price tags off? He said, they must because it happens all the time. So I didn't come out with that big clay bowl for bread. I got this, two of them actually. I'm going to take the ribbon off, I'm not a fan. Um, they're like greenish, can you tell? Yeah, green um, glass, they have lids, and I thought they would be great for serving. I have n not had pitchers for a long time, like pitchers, you know, to put on the table when you have company, whatever. And they had two of these, so I thought they would be cute if I ripped those ribbons off. It looked like they weren't glued, so I'd be okay. They were $7.99 each, which to me, I think that's a little high, but... I don't know. Who am I to know? I'm not a good shopper. I think they'll be really pretty without these. <laughs> and I figured you could even fill them with water from our Berkey, our water filtration system, and put them in the fridge so we have cold water ready to go, especially when we're having company. So, you know, $16 for two of those. I think that's high, but whatever. Um, I did find some other glass containers, maybe canisters, different things that to hold um, laundry soap, like we do baking soda and borax and different things that we mix all together. But none of them were, I couldn't find any that were similar sizes of different ones and the prices were really too high for what I wanted to spend. So I could have gotten the same thing at Amazon or Walmart, brand new, and a couple of them that match or whatever. So I didn't get that. All right, they found the books. Does that look like fun? The last thing I got, they're starting to pull it out, is a badminton set. It has a net. I hope everything is in there. It looks like it has four rackets and they're excited about setting that up. So that'll be some fun we can play here outside. We'll get it set up and show you. This was $20, so $19.99. Yeah, that looks like fun. There's some steaks in there. It looks like everything's in there. We'll see. Okay, I got a white blouse, just a button down basic. The brand is Loft and it was $4.99. I just don't have a basic white button down. So hopefully that fits me, it's a large. I'm a large, but in some brands, I guess an extra large, especially when it's buttoned down. And then I got this cute thing that um, Tori thought she would really like. So it's very pretty dress, short sleeve. And yeah, I'm gonna have her try that on. My total was $68, 63, 60 something. I think that's high for that, I don't know. Like I said, not a good shopper here. I'm no expert. I struggle with wading through all the stuff, but I might be alone because that place was super crowded. I did find a few items that were like collectibles maybe. I don't know. They were Norman Rockwell dishes and some like historic looking dishes. <laughs> I was not interested in owning them, but I thought it was interesting to see them. I did find a huge clay bowl that I like. I just didn't like the design of it, the paint on it, the heart decoration and the paint on the inside, but I do like the idea of having big clay bowls, especially for my bread. So cute. I love it. Do you like it? Too bad we didn't find this a couple of days ago. This would have worked nice with the spring dance. You had to wear something light or white. Oh, that would have been perfect. So this was $19.99. Was that worth it, you think? No, oh, yeah, definitely. Fly, but she did not it costs more at, uh, online if you like to buy a real a new one. Yeah. The one for the pool we had out there, I, was, I paid over $70 for it, new. Oh, so, wow. I don't know how much this will cost, but I'm sure not $20. Yeah. But this is tangled up. It's gonna be a while, Sarah. Okay. This is what happens when you don't buy brand new. <laughs> it didn't have to happen that way. <laughs> 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 
Well, days later, she's being loud on that grill. We got badminton up, it's fun. The kids have played it. Today, Judah has a bunch of friends over and they're lighting off fireworks. They picked up a bunch of malfunctioning fireworks or something like that. It's a bunch of 19 to 23 year old boys, probably 18 to 23 year old boys. And so they are lighting them off down by the pond so nothing lights on fire. And they're having a good time. They brought a bunch of fruit. They're blowing things up. Anyway, we're making a lot of dinner because boys like to eat, so do we. <laughs> We've made this meal a couple times and it is delicious and it is so easy. So I thought I'd just show you quick. Okay, so we have six pounds of ground beef here. Hoping to have leftovers. He has the Traeger running too because he's gonna cook up some chicken that he marinated for another meal. That's two onions. And I'll show you what comes next. So he did season it with some... Seasoned salt. Seasoned salt, yeah. And he's combining the onions and beef together. Some bacon beets. And then we made four cups of basmati rice, white basmati rice today. They make it big okay. enough for 40 people. <laughs> I was telling him we could have had a lot more rice for that amount of ground beef, but he was gonna run out of griddle space. <laughs> so he's mixing that bacon right into the rice there. Next up, Eggs. we're doing eight. So you could do a much smaller portion, even in a frying pan in your kitchen. Yep. Bacon cheeseburger fried rice. Cook those, mixing it all together. So this meal is extra easy because I'm able to prep it ahead. Some flies there. This is diced tomatoes and pickles. And then this is a lot of cheese. I don't think he'll use that much cheese, but I just have it ready. All right, here's how he has it looking. Can to add the cheese. Oh, this is a lot of cheese. Yeah, you don't have to use all that. Okay. <laughs> I just shredded what I had so I can bag it up. This is good. It's just enough to melt it in, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll put that fried rice in bowls and then put this sauce on top. You could also add some shredded lettuce on top, but this sauce is made of just a bunch of ketchup, a little less of mayo, and a little less of mustard. I didn't really measure anything, but it's very, very good. It's good every time I make it, even though I don't measure. Here's the final result. It is good. It smells good. And there it is with the sauce on top. I don't have any lettuce today. So today, what else happened in our kitchen? Tori made a ton of cookies. The boys have already eaten a lot and the kids. I made some sourdough, mostly while I was homeschooling, as well as some tallow while I was homeschooling. And some kombucha. That's about ready to go in the jar. Okay guys, do we have something dead under our deck or is this normal fly, like country living, Midwest country living in July? The <laughs> There's uh, so many flies. I have several of these hung. That just was hung yesterday and is already full inside. We even want to have one of those nasty fly things outside the back door. We have bars of soap, Irish Spring, because I read online that it really helps. We have a couple bars by every door. <laughs> It's not helping. <laughs> it seemed to be helping yesterday, but it doesn't seem to be helping today. Country life, eh? Do you like putting the birds to bed with me? Sort of. 